everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We're gonna talk to Varric, because Varric's awesome. Need something? Um... I have a personal question. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. <laughs> Are you from Ferelden? Ole? Free marches. Born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no, Kirkwall's not that bad. Yeah, it kind of is, actually. I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. In my spare time, I manage a spy network and occasionally... I write books. <laughs> if you run a spy network, why is Leliana our spy master? To be honest, keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and worrying about their families. We're in better hands with her. I apologize if that really screwed up anything. My game suddenly windowed, like went into windowed mode. I think something popped up or something, and the, yeah. <laughs> what books You're an author. Right? What kind of books have you written? I've tried my hands at a few genres. My crime serials are my most popular. Hard in Hightown. Guards breaking the rules to get things done. The Tale of the Champion is the most famous thing I've written, or infamous, maybe. <laughs> I started a romance serial once, Swords and Shields, but to be honest, I don't have a knack for romances. Most of my stories end in tragedy. Probably that says something unfortunate about me personally. Hmm, <laughs> maybe? What sort of shops do you own? Actually, we don't own shops. That was just an example. Mostly we invest in money lenders. Auction houses, a few mercenary companies, a couple of smithies. I think we own half a beet plantation in Ravain somewhere. Most of that's my brother's doing. Bartrand had business sense. Not much tact, but loads of business sense. Oh, Bartrand. How do you and Cassandra know each other? <laughs> you heard about the Kirkwall Tantry being destroyed? The guy responsible used to be a friend of mine. Used Seeker to be? Had questions about that. And I had answers. Used to be. No, you're friends with him now. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Oh, Anders. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca, she's one of a kind. I got her off a guy in Darktown. Took me a week to pry his dead fingers off the stock. I think that's a lie. Who is she named for? I can't tell you. And the reason for that is? Complicated. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. Okay. Good enough. Thanks, Farrick. No problem. Alright, so then there seems to be someone else out here. Not sure who exactly until I get there, because... That's Liliana. I'll have to pretend I know nothing about you, I guess. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? Um... <laughs> I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had. And he let her die. Uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. 
If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, Ooh. what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Oh, Liliana. I always hated your Maker talk, but you're making me feel bad. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. You know, really, I guess she should have been like, why are you telling me this? So I can't talk to her now? Okay. And yes, I will. I hope my hunch was wrong. You knew him well? Not as well as I thought. Show me the reports. Oh, now I can't talk to her. Okay. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? Please kill Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. Glad to see traitors are dealt with quickly. <laughs> we must do whatever it takes to protect our interests. I am pleased that you agree. Hmm. I have no tolerance for traitors. You take a harsh view. But I suppose that is the way in these troubled times. We will make the Inquisition a force to fear. Yeah, now, if you're happy, us. I have more work to do. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Anything more to say? Reports of fade rifts <coughs> and demons keep coming. The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. Well said. Oh my god. Oh boy, okay. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Okay. They called you the left hand of the divine. That they did? What of it? I'd like to hear about Justinia. What was she like? A friend. A mentor. Like me, she had secrets, made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. Were you... <gasps> oh my goodness. Was there something more than friendship between you? You're asking if we were lovers? Typical. I was devoted to her, therefore it must be romantic. Oh, I didn't mean Love it. is common. Love is simple. My bond with Justinia was something greater. She was a sister, a mother, a teacher. So to answer your question, yes, it was more than friendship. How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became divine. Before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. I was at my lowest, broken. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She just showed me it was possible. Okay. We'll talk more later. 
Well, then, let's see, what else? Whoa, hello. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain. That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Oh boy. Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its Herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. You know what? I have an, a feeling I want to save. And when I have a feeling I should save, I should probably do it. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. I don't believe I'm Andraste's herald any more than you do, Chancellor. That laudable humility won't stop the Inquisition from using the misconception when it suits them. <laughs> the Inquisition claims only that we must close the breach or perish. You say that now, Commander. We shall see if the sentiment remains true. <sighs> Don't let anyone riot while we're gone. The walls will be standing when you return, I hope. Oh, so that was it? Okay, hold on. I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Royale. Better ready yourself for the blame you will be rightly assigned. Oh, oh, yeah, I really, I wanted to save. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm going to pause and then go back in there and go do the investigate options. Okay, we are back and we're going to do the investigate stuff. Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay. Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. <laughs> the Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royale, however. Ah, oh, lovely. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between mages and Templars is renewed with interest. The Mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. Aww, he's so protective of her, apparently. <laughs> I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royale. I pray you're right. Alright, so I guess that's it with Cullen. That was, compared to Cassandra, a little disappointing. These truths the Maker has revealed to me. And last but not least, we have to go talk to Solus. So this is basically going to be the, oh, talk to everybody episode. Closing the breach is our primary goal. But I hope we might also discover what was used to create it. Any artifact of such power is dangerous. The destruction of the Conclave proves that much. You don't think whatever created the explosion was destroyed in the blast? You survived, did you not? The artifact that created the breach is unlike anything seen in this age. I will not believe it destroyed until I see the shattered fragments with my own eyes. Anything with that kind of power is bound to show up sooner or later. Liliana's people have scoured the area near the blast and found nothing. Whatever the artifact was, it is no longer there. In any case, 
Did you need me for anything? Sure. Tell me about elves. Oh, I'm not an elf or anything. Just tell me about elves. Um, tell me about yourself. I'd like to know more about you, Solus. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're an apostate, yet you risked your freedom to help the Inquisition. Not the wisest course of action when framed that way. I appreciate the work you're doing, Solus. I just wanted to know more about you. I'm sorry. There's so much fear in the air. What would you know of me? Everything. Not really. <laughs> Have you always traveled and studied alone? Not at all. I have built many lasting friendships. Spirits of wisdom, possessed of ancient knowledge, happy to share what they had seen. Spirits of purpose helped me search. Even wisps, curious and playful, would point out treasures I might have missed. So... <laughs> Basically, you've never had actual living friends. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm impressed that you could become friends with spirits. Anyone who can dream has the potential. Few ever try. My friends comforted me in grief and shared my joy. Yet, because they exist without form, as we understand it, the Chantry declares that spirits are not truly people. Is Cassandra defined by her cheekbones and not her faith? Varric by his chest hair and not his wit? Oh, I get to flirt some more. Really? So I... is this like... Oh, I'll go with it. You have an interesting way of looking at the world, Solus. <laughs> I try. And that isn't quite an answer. I look forward to helping you make new friends. <laughs> that should be... well. That isn't quite an answer, either. <laughs> that was really awkward. <laughs> what made you start studying the Fade? I grew up in a village to the north. There was little to interest the young man, especially one gifted with magic. But as I slept, the spirits of the Fade showed me glimpses of wonders I had never imagined. I treasured my dreams. Being awake out of the Fade became troublesome. Did spirits try to tempt you? No more than a brightly colored fruit is deliberately tempting you to eat it. I learned how to defend myself from more aggressive spirits and how to interact safely with the rest. I learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. There was so much I wanted to explore. I gather you didn't spend your entire life dreaming. No. Eventually, I was unable to find new areas in the Fade. Why? Two reasons. First, the Fade reflects the world around it. Unless I travel, I would never find anything new. Second, the Fade reflects and is limited by our imaginations. To find interesting areas, one must be interested. <laughs> um. I wish you luck. Thank you. In truth, I've enjoyed experiencing more of life to find more of the Fade. How so? You train your will to control magic and withstand possession. Your indomitable focus is an enjoyable sight then. You have chosen a path whose steps you do not dislike because it leads to a destination you enjoy. As am I. <laughs> I just love flirting with him. This is... Indomitable focus. Presumably. I have yet to see it dominate. I imagine that the sight would be... Fascinating. <laughs> oh my god, I have to romance this dude. I mean, not just because of his awkward responses to flirting, but just he seems interesting himself. So, anyway. You said you traveled to many different places. This world, or its memory, is reflected in the fate. <clears throat> Dream in ancient ruins? You may see a city lost to history. Some of my fondest memories were found in crumbling cities, long picked dry by treasure seekers. The best of the battlefields. Spirits press so tightly on the veil that you can slip across with but a thought. 
Any place in particular? I drank at Ostagar. I witnessed the brutality of the Darkspawn and the valor of the Ferelden warriors. I saw Alistair and the hero Ferelden light the signal fire, and Loghain's infamous betrayal of Caelan's forces. Oh boy. Also, he seems really easy to get approval with. Like, he just, just, you have no other option but that one, and he likes it! I guess he just likes that you're interested in at all. I've heard the stories. It would be interesting to hear what it was really like. That's just it. In the Fade, I see reflections created by spirits who react to the emotions of the warriors. One moment, I see heroic wardens lighting the fire and a power-mad villain sneering as he lets King Caelan fall. The next, I see an army overwhelmed and a veteran commander refusing to let more soldiers die in a lost cause. And you can't tell which is real? It is the Fade. They are all real. Well then, I guess that will be it with Solus. We'll talk later. You awkward, adorable guy. Okay, so, um, I realized I did not restart my timer. I am so terrible about this timer. So I'm gonna just, just to be on the safe side, end the episode here. Because I don't know exactly how long it was that I was talking to him. So, um, I will see you guys in the next episode.